This is a bonus divination for the global community for the month of January in the year 2023. Yep, we've finally made it to a new year. I'm just going to light a little bit of Impepu, letting the ancestors know that we're ready to begin. I already set the intention with the ancestors to bring forward any information that might be helpful as we can continue to step fully into this new year, these new energies in this new space. So the image that the ancestors are showing me, Maclose, is they are showing me that you are standing on a path. And in this path in front of you, there are a large grouping of marbles covering the path in front of you. And what they are saying is that this is twofold. For some of you, you are standing there and you are trying to figure out how you can get down the path with these marbles in your way. You're trying to figure it out with your mind. Should you step in between them? Should you go around them? Should you just sweep them out of the way? How can you get through this path is what you are standing there and you are contemplating. And this is all about mental energy and trying to figure out things with your mind and how to move forward. And for the others in this grouping, it is more about looking at all the marbles and not seeing all the little pieces as a whole. And what the ancestors are saying that this means is it means that you keep waiting for something big to happen instead of appreciating all of the little things that are happening and coming to you. And so what the ancestors are saying that you have a choice, whether you are standing there and you keep waiting and trying to figure out how to get through your path because of the obstacles that are there before you and using your mind and trying to figure it out, or those who are trying to figure out and wait for something bigger to come because you are not appreciating all the little things. The ancestors say it is a time of choice as you are moving into this new year of 2023, a time of choice. They are saying, if you are trying to figure it out with your mind, it is time to move forward and just sweep the marbles out of the way, freeing up the path before you. Stop trying to figure things out with your mind and just sweep them out of the way, allowing yourself to move forward trusting fully that the ancestors are supporting you, and this is the way that you need to go. And for those who are not appreciating all the littleness and trying to wait for that big thing, the ancestors are asking you to reach down and pick up all of the marbles and put them in your basket and carry them along the path with you. Because they are saying as you begin to pick up all the marbles and put them in your basket and carry along, then you will begin to appreciate more all of the things that have come to you, all of the little blessings, and see them as they build into one as you're moving forward down further on your path. The ancestors are saying that the year of 2022 was a big shift, a big change, much disruption. And they are saying that although 2023 is going to be different, there are still going to be many disruptions. And in order for you to move forward, continue on your path, moving forward, then you really ne need to make the choices of how you want to do this. They are saying you have the choice. You can get on that surfboard and ride that wave fully forward with the support of your ancestors, 
trusting your ancestors, allowing your ancestors to hold that space for you as you continue to move forward without that mental energy or discounting what you have. Or you can continue to stand there on the shore, waiting for the waves to part fully so that you may walk through without any obstacles before you. And this is the choices that are going to come to you in this year, in this month of January, is the beginning. The beginning of making those choices of how you're going to move forward. They are saying that this energy is causing a great stuckness. When you are stuck just trying to stand there and figure things out with your mind, then you are stuck in place and you are unable to move forward. If you are discounting all the little blessings, then you are stuck and you are not moving forward. It is time, Makozis, it is time to either sweep the marbles to the side and open your heart with trust and faith in the ancestors and just start taking action and moving forward. Or gather up all of your blessings in your basket and carry them forward with you at this time as we begin this new year of 2023. They are saying as you begin to do this, as you continue to trust, as you continue to hold space for the ancestors in your heart, opening it up, allowing yourself to be carried forward with that trust and unconditional love of the ancestors, then you will be able to see things shift and change in new ways that you were unable to see before because you were stuck waiting, wondering, trying to figure it out with your mind or not standing in the great appreciation. This year of 2023 will come with many blessings, but it is all in how you see them, what perspective you are looking from. And this is what the ancestors want you to understand, that everything is seen through your eyes and the perspective that you want to see. You can either see through that stuck energy, that mental energy, holding yourself in that unappreciation, or you can see through the eyes of gratitude, love, kindness, and the support of your ancestors. You have the choice, and you, you will continue to have the choices to choose how you walk forward in this lifetime, not only in this year, but each and every year after. So each time you are feeling stuck in place, the ancestors are saying, to relook at your perspective. What eyes are you looking out of? Are you looking out of the eyes of hope and appreciation and gratitude? Or are you looking through the mental energy, the stuckness? And this is what the ancestors want you to do each and every day throughout this year. Remind yourself, what eyes are you looking out of? Are you holding that space with your ancestors? Are you stuck in that place of waiting for something to happen? And so when we look at the bones here, Makozis, there the ancestors are showing that this is the bone of movement forward. And this is the bone of what they are calling amplification. And so it is a great time to move forward. And this bone here is amplifying the energy of moving forward. And then here's your ancestors here, walking with you, helping you carry forward. But this is the big piece of doubt right here in the center. This piece of doubt that is causing the imbalances by you not moving in the direction that you need to move forward. Of having that trust and faith with your ancestors, having that trust and faith that they are there to support you. And this is what the ancestors are saying, is that you are sacrificing the movement forward. This is the bone of sacrifice, and you, this doubt is causing you to sacrifice the movement forward. But as you continue to allow yourself to put your faith and trust in your ancestors, allowing your ancestors to hold that space for you, opening your heart up to your ancestors, then you will move forward on your path and the great transformations will begin to happen. There will be a more appreciation and less mental energy, less stuckness, more understanding of all the little pieces coming together instead of 
having to have one big piece, one big understanding, one big thing happen to you. And that is what is causing the stuckness is being able to wait that you have this expectation of what is going to happen. And the ancestors are saying that it is a time, it is a time of being able to hold that space of wonder, of, of being held by the ancestors. And this is what they want you to understand is that by bringing in the energy of expectation in the energy of mental mental energy, then that causes the blocks. This is causes the doubt. Should What should I continue to do? How can I move forward? But this is what causes the great imbalance and sacrifices you from moving forward on your path. Your heart is open to moving forward. Your heart is open to the greater energies that are in the universe, the great feminine energy that is coming through. But you must first understand that you have to make the choice. You have to make the choice to move forward with your ancestors. This is the other path that's moving. That is here. There's all this difficulty, this all this disruption over here. And here's your ancestors on the other side of all that difficulty. You can make the choice to move forward and allow that doubt to just be pushed aside, opening up your heart, allowing yourself to be transformed by these energies, or you can be stuck back here in all of this difficulties, all of this, this closing down your heart and not moving forward, not making any movement forward because you are stuck in the difficulties, stuck trying to figure things out, stuck not having that appreciation, or you can continue to move your heart forward with your ancestors, even if that doubt is in there. Even if that imbalance is in there, you can still move forward as long as you are trying to take the actions, take the steps forward, take the movement forward. You can see that this is all open and moving forward in this. And here's all this little blocked energy. All this little blocked energy right here is what is holding you back. And so it is time to allow that energies to move aside. Pick up all those little marbles, put them in your basket, carry them forward, or just push them aside. Wherever you are in your life, whatever is coming up for you at this moment as you are listening to this, you have the choice. You have the choice to change the way that you are seeing things. You are you have the choice to change your perspective and how you see things with your eyes. You can either choose to continue to see them from your head or you can continue to move forward with your heart. And that is going to make the difference in which path you take moving into this year of 2023. You are either going to continue to move forward and even when you're hitting those doubts and those imbalances, you will continue to move forward because you are walking the path with your ancestors or you're going to choose to be stuck in those other energies and be stuck over here and going nowhere. And this is the message of the ancestors. This is what they want you to hear, that you have choices. You always have choices. The choices will always be open to you and that it is time to see how you are going to move forward in this year of 2023. Yes. yes. So they are just wanting to express their appreciation, their gratitude, for you to be able to hold that space, that understanding of that, those choice points that are coming to you. They understand that it is not always easy to make those choices. It is not always easy to stand in those energies. You're always looking for the reassurance that things are going the, the way that they, that they should be. But the ancestors are saying the more that you continue to move forward, even if it is in tiny steps, even if you're taking your little things and putting them together and appreciating them and, and have that understanding, each time that you continue to move those little steps forward, then you will begin to understand. You will begin to trust. You will begin to feel the, the strength and the love of your ancestors that are there holding that space for you instead of being stuck in that, those those other energies and they understand that it's not always easy but they do want you to understand that they have great appreciation and gratitude for you at this time in this lifetime and as we all grow shift and change together our hearts will become more open and we will have more access to things that we have never had access before 
And this is what the ancestors are coming forward to say and to support you and to hold that space, to just take those little steps of actions, make the choices, see out of your eyes with the right perspective. And each time you need to write yourself, when you feel yourself being stuck in that place of inaction or in appreciation, to, to shift that perspective, to really shift the way that you're looking at it and ask yourself those questions. Am I opening my heart to my ancestors and being supported of their support to help carry me forward? Or am I being stuck? Am I being stuck in this energy of going nowhere? And so I just want to light a little bit more in Pepu to thank the ancestors for coming forward with their message today. The message of choices as we move into this year of 2023 and understanding that as we're making our choices that we also can shift our perspective to see things in a different way than we might not have seen before in the past. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you for coming forward today with this message. This message that'll help us move forward in the year of 2023, allowing us to see our choices from the place of the heart and the ancestors instead of with our minds, allowing us to move forward in new ways and have new opportunities to see things differently, allowing us to ride the wave of change instead of waiting for the waves to part. Close.